Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg hit back at Republican lawmakers on Thursday, accusing them of interfering in his office's criminal probe into former President Donald Trump. In a letter sent to three Republican House committee chairs seen by Reuters, Bragg's office confirmed the DA was investigating allegations that Donald Trump engaged in violation of New York state penal law. But the prosecutor called Congress's demand for documents and testimony related to the probe, quote, an unprecedented inquiry into a pending local prosecution, and one that arose, quote, after Donald Trump created a false expectation that he would be arrested the next day, and his lawyers reportedly urged you to intervene. Neither fact is a legitimate basis for congressional inquiry. Bragg's response is the latest shot fired in a public and politicized storm about a supposedly secret criminal proceeding. It erupted with new urgency after the former president forecast he would be arrested this week. It is unclear what charges, if any, Trump may face related to a $130,000 payment by his former attorney, Michael Cohen, to adult performer Stormy Daniels in exchange for her silence about what she says was a 2006 sexual affair with the married Trump. Cohen says Trump reimbursed him for the payment, which was falsely reported as legal fees. Trump denies the affair, maintains his innocence, and has called the investigation a partisan witch hunt. Legal experts have said Bragg's office may be trying to turn a misdemeanor charge over a falsified business record into a felony by suggesting it was an effort to conceal another crime, namely that buying Stormy Daniels' silence amidst an election may have been a violation of campaign laws. The Manhattan DA's office has been investigating Trump for some time, even under Bragg's predecessor. Bragg caught some by surprise when he revived the hush money payment probe earlier this year. He resurrected this old prosecution, the Stormy Daniels prosecution, which had been called, and they literally called this in in the district attorney's office, the zombie case. John Coffey is a professor at Columbia University's law school and says Bragg is facing a difficult challenge and has made himself a political target. You've got to find an offense that you can legitimately prosecute in New York State, and that's quite problematic, okay? Now, is he going to be criticized? Of course he's going to be criticized. This is a uh, a unique event that's never happened before. If indicted, Trump would be the first U.S. president to face criminal charges. He has mounted a third campaign for the White House while facing legal woes on several fronts including federal investigations into his retention of classified documents, his attempts to overturn his 2020 election defeat, and a state-level probe in Georgia into whether he unlawfully sought to reverse the 2020 election results in that state.